in the screening, um, he said this line about this being his relationship with the whales being more important to him than his human relationships. And I was sitting next to his, his partner and I turned to her and said, I'm not sure this is true. And she said, it's true. <laughs> it's absolutely true. <laughs> Patrick and the Whale is a love story. Patrick Dykster met a whale that he found he could communicate with and fell in love with her. So he went to um, Terramata Studios and said, there's a huge opportunity here. I think she would let me put a camera on her, right by her mouth. And the whales weren't having any of that. Um, but they carried on filming, there was nothing else to, to do. And the story started to happen. Being able to see it all, I could suddenly see there was an extraordinary story here. It's a story of failure in many ways. And I think the best stories are like that. The whales I could see started to direct the lessons that they were teaching Patrick. Each scene, you could see them take control and you could see them trying to teach him things. The whales took turns to teach Patrick. Different teachers, different lessons. But it was always pupil and teacher. So it's Patrick and the whale. Patrick and the teacher. When I see the credit come up as director, I think it would be much nicer to, to say this film was directed by the whales, by Dolores, by Can Opener, by all these whales. We should give them the credit. So it's one of the reasons that I don't like to watch the films, because <laughs> I hate having, I would much rather have no credits on films. I find it embarrassing. It's not my story. So this, for this film, it's about the first time that I've ever watched it. And seeing it on the big screen is both amazing because I see other people's work as well as mine. You know, it's mostly other people's work. And that's wonderful. And then I see my mistakes. <laughs> but I think all documentary filmmakers feel that. You can never, that's why we do another one. Maybe we'll get it right. And then another one. It's a, it's a business where you can never succeed completely. It's impossible. And we have to live with that.